Hey, what's up you guys? So today I wanted to do my November favorites. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So first of all, I want to talk about skincare. Um, mainly because my skin has been so, so dry this year. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but my skin has been insanely dry and I've been dedicating my life to fixing it like I need I need like doing this in my life but um before I get into like moisturizers and all that stuff I want to talk about my favorite skin um cleanser and this stuff really really does work um it's the Dollar General like dupe or whatever knockoff brand of the Noxzema brand um these are literally the same thing the only difference is the price point um I mean I'm sure it's only like a dollar difference or two dollars difference but still every penny counts ladies and gents every penny counts but this stuff it just what the fuck do you hear that a cat I think it's my cat like he's literally deaf so his meow is so loud and deep like it's like Mmm. I hear him screaming outside. What the fuck is he doing outside? He's not supposed to be outside. <laughs> okay, that's really random. Okay. What was I saying? Okay, yeah. This is super, super awakening, so I love doing it in the morning. Even at night, whatever. Um, when you do it in the shower, it just feels like... Whoo, whoo, like, it's like crazy. Because obviously, in the shower, your pores are open because of the hot water. This stuff really, really works. And it... I have sensitive skin, I have dry sensitive skin, um, my boyfriend has acne prone skin, it works really well on him, it doesn't make him break out. Everyone in my family uses it, so it is a very versatile deep cleansing cream. I highly, highly recommend it. I love it so much. Okay, next is, I guess I'll talk about my favorite facial wipes, which are these Dead Sea Origins. Um, like I said, I have sensitive skin. So, um... This stuff is pH balanced, hypoallergenic, and just a plus. It's not tested on animals. For a while, I was like, why the fuck are these the only towelettes that don't burn my skin? Because I've been through so many towelettes that literally, like, make me feel like acid has been thrown on my skin. Um, and I was reading the back of it one day. I was like, oh, that's why. And it's true. These don't bother me. They feel good. Like, they feel just, like, refreshing. Um... I don't know, it's infused with dead sea salts and minerals. I think maybe that's good. I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff, so don't, don't like, take my word on everything. But these don't bother my skin. So if you have sensitive skin, look for products that aren't pH balanced, I guess. That are pH balanced, sorry. And maybe hypoallergenic. I think that's a big plus. Um, I get these at Burlington. So I'm assuming you can get them at any, like, big bulk store, like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or, like, Ross's and stuff like that. But yeah, I get mine at Burlington. Um, now for getting into where I like start to really moisturize my skin and like have been really like battling with the dryness is this mixture that Bubs, I got it from Bubs Booney a few years ago and I used it a few years ago and then this year when I was like super, super dry, I was like, I need to do that mask. It's um basically crushed up dank weed. <laughs> Dink loud, okay? Um, and it tells you your fortune and like what's gonna happen to you in the future, like in Harry Potter. So as you can see in there, it's telling you that you are a bad bitch. That's what it's telling you, okay? Um no, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, this is just green tea leaves taken out of the bag after you like cooked yourself a cup of tea and then just like a teaspoon or tablespoon or whatever of honey and I mix it all in there and then I mainly put it under my eyes obviously this is like an exfoliating scrub but since it's leaves it's super light that's why I feel comfortable putting it underneath my eyes I know underneath your eyes is a delicate place but I need it there and this honestly does really really help me um break away dead skin cells I don't really scrub and if I do scrub it's super super light hand and I just leave it there for a while and it dries on nicely I highly recommend that just don't be too rough under your eye area because again super super delicate spot on your body okay 
Next is my favorite moisturizer, which is at my friend's house because I left it at her dorm room <laughs> and she didn't bring it to me. So we're not friends anymore, to say the least. Just kidding. But it's my simple moisturizer, which I highly recommend. At first, I didn't really like it because the smell is not that like welcoming and not the type of smell like I would be like, I love that. You know, it's just like a kind of basic smell and it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't smell that good to me. But, um, I love it. It really made a difference in my face. Like, it really, like, just, the moisture just locks in with that. I don't know what it is, but I love it. But another one that I've been using since I left it with my friend is this Olay Moisturizing Cream. This is a bit thicker, so if you're using a thick moisturizing cream, tr make sure you don't put too much on and make sure you test it out on small areas on I don't know how to, like, just make sure you don't use it too much because sometimes thick moisturizers tend to break people out. So just be aware of that if you're doing that. But this is a pretty good one. Um, yeah, a big tip if you're having problems with moisturizing, put moisturizer on after you exfoliate your face or after you get on the shower because your pores are going to be open, your skin is, like, just needing to suck in anything. So if you put moisturizer in, it'll just suck it right in. And be good to go okay lastly for face is this Evian facial spray I know it's just water people but I don't know what it is I put it on at night I put it on when I got out of the shower I put it on for I moisturize I put it on before I put my makeup on I put it on after I put my makeup on I put it on all the time I love it it just really does refresh you like I don't know what it is maybe it's like it's cold and it just wakes you up a little bit I don't know but it says it moisturizes refreshes and tones I agree with it I love it so much I feel like it helps melt all your makeup all together so it doesn't look all cakey um, it just makes you feel really good I don't I have so much to say about this stuff but I love it is good enough in a nutshell I love this stuff okay so for face okay now for makeup and stuff I'm just gonna talk about my two favorite brushes so I don't forget about them because I filmed this before and I completely forgot to talk about them but this is the Real Techniques setting brush I love this brush I use it to set my um, primers on my lid I use it to set under here and I also use it to apply my highlight it gets right perfectly on there it's just a perfect little little brush and it's super cheap Real Techniques is an affordable brand but they're high quality. I highly recommend them. You can get them at, I'm sure, Target. I know you can get them at Walmart. You can get them at Ulta. Probably any drugstore. Really, really good brushes for affordable price. And then also, I want to talk about this Sonia Kashuk um, eyebrow pencil, eyebrow brush. I always see people talk about the Anastasia one, but I never see anybody talk about this one. And mind you, this is like $2.99, $3.99, I don't know, $2.99, something like that, at Target. And I think, from what I see, I've never seen or used the Anastasia one, so I'm not knocking it or dissing it or anything like that. Maybe it is better than this. But for like 3 bucks, you can get a really nice, densely packed little brush, and it works so well. It gets right in there and I highly recommend it for anybody who doesn't want to spend 20 bucks on an eyeshadow on an eyebrow pencil what the fuck on an eyebrow brush this works really really well and again super cheap okay next I will, I'll just talk about my favorite eyeshadows at the moment which is this in the Lorac 2 palette I love all these Lorac palettes, obviously, I use them like in every video, I know, and no um, but it's the shade Snow, it's a really, really stark white, shimmery highlight color, I love it for my brow bone, I'm not wearing it today, surprisingly, but it is one of my favorites, it's just so frosty, and so brightening, it looks so gorgeous, and it blends like butter, I am not kidding you, it blends. And then another one is this Nectar shade. I use it obviously for every like tutorial, but it's my favorite transition shade. I feel like it goes good with cool looks, like random looks, like rainbow colored looks, like blues, purples. It just, it just, it's so versatile. I love that shade so much. I highly recommend it for anybody. 
And then also I want to just quickly talk about my Morphe 350 palette. Um, when I got it, before I got it, I was obsessed with it. And I was like, I need to get this. Like, I see, like, Jacqueline, Manny, everybody talk about it. I need it. And then when I got it, I was like, damn. That fucking shipping, though. Fucking $8.99, really? But whatever. And then I got it, and I was like, what am I going to really do with this? Like, it's all the same shades. But then I was like, honestly, Naomi, stop being so fucking ignorant. And... You can get so many looks out of this. I am continuously thinking of looks out of this palette alone. I love warm shades. I don't know why I was, like, negative about it for a second, but, like, I love this palette. This is basically what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And if you want a tutorial on this look, I'll give it to you, even though Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so it's kind of late. But, um, yeah. I love that palette, to say the least. Okay, next I'll talk about my face again. But these are like face products. So my favorite concealer at the moment is this Eye Studio Master Conceal by Maybelline. I'm in the shade Light Medium. At first I loved it, and then again I was like, fuck, I hate this shit. And then I loved it again. I randomly pulled it out and I was like, I put it on. My favorite way to apply it is with my Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender just thins it out because it's such a thick concealing concealer it's a really good dense concealer so it will last you a while it's only seven bucks so your money is definitely going to be well used on this product it's super brightening it covers like your dark circles all of that i love it the only thing definitely recommend applying with your beauty blender because your beauty blender will nicely evenly distribute it i guess so it's not cakey in one spot all that good stuff Okay, next, NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. When I got it, I thought it was a loose powder because apparently I don't read, which they tell you to do every day in high school is read the fucking directions, and I didn't. But I'm happy I got it anyway. It's a nice setting powder for your under eyes. It's super brightening, and I do think it helps keep your makeup on for the more majority of the day. I don't, okay. Next is my highlighter combo. This is my favorite highlighter combo. I did a swatch of it earlier because, again, I was, um, I tried filming this before. But it is my So Hollywood Illuminator by, um, Anastasia, which I love the packaging and the aesthetics of this. It's just, it obviously doesn't look that good now because I've been using it. But it's just really, really pretty. And then this Girl Needs Pearl Highlighter by, from Benefits. Obviously, the What's Up, I think, is a more known highlight. But I personally love this one. It's super pretty. It's like a pinky champagne color. And paired with this, it's really pretty. And it's a really, really good base. Um, so, yeah, this is what it is. This is what it looks like um, combined. This one right here. And this is so Hollywood alone. So, you can see how much more pigmented and bright it looks. It's so, so, so pretty. I love it so much. Okay, next is this Lorac, or Lorac, I don't know how to pronounce it, tantalizer. I love this as a blush, actually. I'm wearing it today mixed with another color. I just think it's so, so, so pretty. Um, I have it swatched right here, again. And I'm getting really close because my lighting sucks, and if I have it farther away, it just completely whites it out so it's like a really pretty like orangey shade i love it so much obviously you can use it as a bronzer or like something just to warm up and glow up your skin i love doing that in the summer but for right now i love it as a blush so so pretty okay another is this nyx vinyl liquid liner um they have a matte one which i want to get to but i decided to get the vinyl i don't know why but I do love this regardless, and the reason I love it, I think, is because the barrel or the handle of it is so much longer than, say, the um, another really popular one is the NYC one. That handle is, like, this big. And if you know with liner, especially liquid liner, obviously only liquid liner, the brush is extremely flimsy unless you have a felt tip which is more controllable. So with a longer handle, it counteracts the flimsy brush, I feel, and helps you have more control. That's why I love, love, love this eyeliner. And again, super affordable. It's like 
six bucks seven bucks don't call me but it's somewhere around there lastly for makeup is this nyx dewy setting spray um it's only seven dollars granted you have to put into mind it's only like two fluid ounces but at the same time you don't want to use too much of it you're not going to use too much of it because i saw someone say and it's so true if you use too much of it it will counteract and instead of keep your makeup in place it'll break up your makeup and look splotchy so you're not going to use too much of this anyway so it's going to last you a good amount of time and also the urban decay setting spray which is also a really good setting spray again i'm not dissing it or knocking it down or anything the 12 dollar sample size is basically the same size as this seven dollar nyx one so and they basically do the same i actually like this nyx one better my personal opinion you can do your own calculations on that shit okay so i guess for my favorite i want to talk about my favorite youtuber my favorite song and my favorite netflix song my, ne my favorite netflix show at the moment okay so my favorite youtuber i think right now i don't know dude like i love i've been rethinking right now manny i don't know why he's just really really touching my soul right at the moment like his meet and greet and like everything like how, him crying about it and like him being so beautifully humble about everything and so thankful about everything he has like really 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 draws me into him and how genuine of a person he is i've never met him but from what i see he's so genuine her videos right when i see her upload is how to cake it her name's yolanda and i know there's more people with the cake it how to cake it whatever but she's like the voice of it and i am so in love with her she is so talented with making cakes my friends think I'm weird for watching her videos, but it's insane. She made a freaking turkey cake. She made a minion cake. I've watched every single one of her videos. I highly, highly recommend her. She's so amazing. Okay. Um, so for my favorite Netflix show, it's Jane the Virgin. I don't know what's going to happen. I still have two more episodes, but I love it. It's kind of corny, but in the best way possible. It's so funny. There's so many twists. It's so, like, it's just so good. I love it. It's just, like, a happy show to watch. Um, I love that show. And then for my favorite song, I'm going to play it quick. Okay, you guys, so that's all my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to follow my Instagram where I put daily looks of my makeup. I'll probably put this up. Um, so, yeah, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more of me, like I always say. Um, yeah, leave comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again. Is it you like on me? It's like so big. So I'm moving just your body. Mm -hmm. That dank cush. Cush, roll, grass, roll, eyes, That's not the lyrics at all. <laughs> Literally, I still hear my cat outside. Netflix song. My, my favorite Netflix. My favorite Netflix. What the fuck? My favorite Netflix, Nami. Netflix. Testing three, four. Testing three, four.